Okay, so what I want to show you guys today is how awesome and how incredibly small H2 is. H2 is molecular hydrogen. And so H2 is actually the smallest molecule in the universe. Um, you can actually fit, if you take a strand of your hair and you pluck it out of your head, across the width of a strand of your hair, you can fit three million H2 molecules. That's a lot. Uh, in fact, in a 16 ounce glass of water, there's actually 150 quintillion H2 molecules. That's 150 followed by 18 zeros. That's pretty freaking small. And it's also neutral and it's so small that it gets everywhere, okay? So H2 can pass every single barrier, the blood brain barrier, the placenta barrier, any other barrier, H2 can break through and get into the barrier or get through the barrier. Um, it's particularly important because of our brains. Our brains are very susceptible to oxidative stress. So glucose, sodium, um, alcohol, nicotine, and some drugs can get into the brain, but a lot of antioxidants and vitamins cannot, but H2 can. Uh, it protects our DNA and our RNA, and it gets into the mitochondria and the nucleus of our cells. It actually benefits virtually every organ of the body because it targets and mitigates the root causes of inflammation and oxidation. It is basically your best defense against uh, fighting virtually every, or many kinds of diseases. Um, and there are more than 1,000 peer-reviewed scientific publications that have collectively demonstrated that H2 has these therapeutic benefits. So what I wanna show for you guys is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Kangen water, 9.5, and put it in this glass bowl here, and then I'm gonna take, this is smart water, um, this is oxidative, positively charged water, and put it in the plastic bag. And then I'm gonna set that inside of here and let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then we come back, we will see that the H2 has actually seeped through the plastic bag into the smart water. And the way we test that is with the ORP meter. So many of you have seen this before. This is the oxidation reduction potential meter, or basically it tests the potential for the item you're testing to reduce oxidation. And so it basically is finding how much hydrogen is in the water. And so you'll see the number will turn negative when it recognizes the hydrogen. It's positive when it's not there. And so what I'm gonna do is we are going to get some Kangen water here. And then in the plastic bag, we're gonna pour the smart water. And then we'll test the ORP of the waters before. And then I'll let it sit for 10 minutes, do a little time lapse, and then we'll test it after. Okay, get some common water here. I'm just gonna slow the flow rate a little bit. All right. So we can just make sure that we see this. Right now the air is positively charged. We'll put this in here and it jumps negative. And can we see that? Mm -hmm. Negative, almost negative 500. Okay, lots of active molecular hydrogen in the water. Oops, spilled a little bit. And then we test smart water. And it's moving positive, right? Positive 200 and something, is that what you see? Yeah, turn it this way a little bit. Like that, like this? There you go, right there. Right there, right? Okay, so. All right, let's take all the air out of it so it doesn't float on top of the water but actually gets inside. All right, and then We'll set the time lapse for about 10 minutes. Okay, and we are back. Uh, we're gonna test the waters now. And uh, I have personally seen this demonstration done live at um, one of the Kangen water demos. And uh, it's really cool because I know obviously now we have to stop the camera, but in the demo, you know, they would just set this up and they would go and do, do another part of the demonstration, whether it's the, you know, the acidity and the alkalinity or the green tea demonstration or 
or getting the pesticides off of your produce and then they would come back to this and you saw that it was just sitting there and then all of a sudden the, the um, oxidizing water became an antioxidant. So um, we're gonna pull this back and we are, so we've got the ORP meter on, ready to go. The air is positive. We're gonna open this up. Remember the uh, oxidizing uh, smart water was inside the plastic bag. It was a positive reading. We had like negative 200 something. And now, it's gonna slowly but surely jump down. You can't see it, can you? Because I'm looking at it. We tilt it down, there we go. Tilt it down more? Yeah, just bring the whole thing down. Oh, bring the whole thing down. Go. There we go. And now the number is negative and we can even take it out of the water. It is now full of hydrogen because like I said, hydrogen, smallest molecule, it went through the plastic bag. See that? You see that? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>